fighting ISIS in a space suit. We can only identify the pilot by his first name, Captain Stephen, and by his call sign, Meathead. He's about to embark on a high-altitude reconnaissance mission in a U-2 spy plane. We were given rare access to the preparations, launch, and landing of one of these highly secretive missions that have a clear objective, one of the pilots tells me. With the U-2, we're able to get out there, find those guys, track them, get that information back to the fighter types, the bomber types, so that way when they go out there, they've got the best intel, the best information about where, the, where they are, and then obviously do what needs to be done. The U-2 can fly extremely high, more than 70,000 feet, and get pictures and other information to forces on the ground very fast. It's a Cold War era plane flying since the 1950s, but its cameras and sensors have been completely upgraded. With its many technological upgrades, the U-2 Dragon Lady remains one of America's main assets in the information gathering effort against ISIS. But of course, intelligence gathering happens on many levels, and much of it happens through drones, like this Global Hawk, which patrols in the skies above Iraq and Syria almost every day. The information from these surveillance platforms is key to helping jets from the U.S.-led anti-ISIS coalition strike their targets in support of forces combating the group on the ground in places like Mosul in Iraq. But while the U-2 can soar higher than almost any other plane, it's pretty hard to land. We're in a chase car that speeds after the jet, helping to guide the pilot to the ground after an almost 10-hour mission. Nice job. Peeling himself out of the cockpit, Captain Steven says he believes the U-2 is making a major impact. Things that we can do while we're up there, as well as how often we're up there, I mean, thanks to the maintenance guys, we are constantly up in the air, uh, providing that support for those who need the most. And the need for the U-2 services will remain in high demand. While ISIS may be losing ground, the group remains both deadly and elusive. For Plagen, CNN in the Middle East.